Okay guys, it's uh, 10 past four in the morning. It is now uh, Tuesday morning. Joanne has pretty well been awake since Sunday morning. I made a mistake in the last vlog saying it was from Saturday. It was basically from Sunday. I got home Sunday morning. Joanne's been awake all Sunday morning from about 1 a.m. Uh, all day Sunday, all day, all through the night. She got a couple of hours sleep Sunday night. Then all day Monday she was awake. And we went to bed last night at 1 a.m. Monday night. It's now Tuesday morning, 4 a.m. I've had about two and a half hours sleep. And how much sleep have you had, Bubba? None. Joanne's had no sleep. Do you want to be on camera at all? No, Joanne's struggling. Poor little bugger is tired. She's going like a little trooper. We've got hot water, hot water. We've got a beam heated uh, little wheat bag here. Got a little TENS machine hooked up to her. We're hoping these contractions get closer together because at the moment they're still about eight and a half, nine minutes apart and we need them five minutes apart so Joanne can get this baby out and get some sleep. So maybe not in that order though. All right, go go. All right guys, I'm on the floor. It's five minutes to seven in the morning. Joanne's up there. We've been awake obviously the whole time. Contra contraptions, contractions are about seven minutes apart, they've been sort of fluctuating again. We got all the way down under the five minute mark, we thought we were on like Donkey Kong, but they've gone back up again now, so Joanne's gonna try and sleep on the couch as best she can. She's gonna try and get as much sleep as she can in seven minutes. Poor bugger. She's a trooper, she's doing such a good job. So good. Um, I'm just sitting watching TV, I've just called in for another day off work. So yesterday and today, um, and then I've actually got four days off anyway because I've got days off after night shift, so yeah. But um, yeah, hopefully it'll, uh, it'll be on today. Poor old Joanne needs to get some sleep, needs to get some rest. Poor girl's exhausted, so yeah. I'm going to have a nap here on the floor, I think. Alright guys, it's 20 past, two, 20 past 2 in the afternoon. I've been asleep on the floor. Poor old Joanne has been awake the whole time. She's still in here pacing back and forth. Um, it's been rough, like I slept from, I laid down on the floor and Joanne let me sleep on the floor from 7 o'clock this morning through almost 12. So I've been awake again, so I'm exhausted and I'm not even doing anything. Joanne's been awake since Sunday. Poor bugger. Um, but the good news is we're almost down to crunch time. The contractions got all the way down to under the five minute mark. And the little app we had said, you could probably look go to the hospital, but now they've expanded back out again over almost 10 minutes. So we're gonna go for a walk, take Maxie for a walk, and then hopefully we're gonna head off to the hospital, hopefully. So the contractions are getting down to about six minutes apart. Um, we Joe and I went for a long walk, and is this zoomed in too close? No, that's it. Um, and yeah, which is good. So we went for a long walk, and the contractions are down now, they're regular. Fingers crossed, they stay regular. Um, Johan is ready for some drugs. <laughs> Are you ready for drugs, Baba? Are you ready for drugs? Oh, too far. Oh, now, now she's out of focus. Johan has been pacing. She got a little. Where's the little cable? See this little cable she's got in her hand here, and this little button. That little thing there. She got a little. It's called a tens machine. And uh, when she gets a contraction, she presses that little button. It's hooked up to some little pads on her back. And she's out walking the backyard, doing just walking. So yeah, that's what's happening at the moment. Um, but yeah, Joanne said she's well and truly ready for drugs when she gets to the hospital. She's been awake for what's, what's I don't know what day it is. It's Tuesday afternoon. About let me just check. It is half past three Tuesday afternoon. So we've been going all day Sunday, all Sunday night, all day Monday, all Monday night and now all day Tuesday. This is like a three day labour. I mean, the labour hasn't been full on until probably today, but Joanne hasn't been able to sleep properly since Sunday. I think the longest she's slept is three hours. I fell asleep on the floor, so yeah. But uh, it's good. The, uh, the app, little iPhone app here, have a look. See, look, can you see the contractions there? There we go. I don't know if it's gonna flip that around or not, but yeah. So um, it's saying we can go to the hospital we're going to wait for a few more contractions just to make sure they're in the right timing, that they're still, you know, close enough together, and then we might be heading to the hospital. Joanne's ready for some sleep, big time. You know what I find amazing, guys? We're having a baby, right? You would think that people maybe wouldn't call Joanne's mobile phone 
It is amazing how many people are calling or texting Joanne's phone to check what's happening. Um, aren't we a little busy? I mean, I'm not, but isn't Joanne a little busy having a freaking baby? Just stunned at people ringing Joanne's phone. She spent 20 minutes on the phone then to somebody because she was too polite to get off the phone and she had three contractions while she's on the phone to them. Unbelievable. I'm now taking her phone off her and I'm just canning people's phone calls. Like, people ring obviously because they're concerned and they want to, you know, is everything okay? Is there anything we can do? I understand that, but um, it's not about you, it's about Joanne. You would think kind of maybe that she'd be a little busy. I'll post stuff to Facebook. I mean, I'm posting a little bit of stuff to Facebook, or to Twitter, sorry, not Facebook, to Twitter, um, with updates and stuff, but... Yeah, anyway, I just find that really surprising. I mean, I can kind of understand the thinking behind it, but at the same time, as a guy, do people just not, and it's mostly women, I'll admit, um, but do people just not think that through? Like, just don't, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, anyway. Uh, I'm just getting a little bit irritated with people, so sorry to have a little bit of a spew. Um, yeah, we're down to, well, this is the other thing, is because Joan was on the phone, it messes up her cycle, and now we're back out to, what well, was back out to 14 minutes, so thanks, phone call, you just pushed us back an hour worth of uh, labour for Joanne. So she's back out there walking again, and we've got the times back down to just under seven minutes. We have to get them back down under five before we can go to the hospital. So every time somebody calls or something happens and it changes Joanne's routine, it slows the contractions down, and we've got to go back out and start again. So rather than be living to go to the hospital right now, like we were kind of hoping to, no, nope, sorry, we now have to wait another hour. Joanne has to walk around the yard for another hour trying to get the contractions back nice and strong again. So, yeah. Anyway, we're setting up the TV to record some stuff. And then I, I might even set this, I might even upload and edit this now. Um, and then I'll, the rest of the night will go into tomorrow's vlog maybe. That might be a good idea. Anyway. We'll see how we go. Wish us luck.